Yeah, Harvey has a problem. They're not, Apple's not showing him the money, or he can't find it. That's upsetting. Uh, so he says, I have an Apple card and an Apple Cash card question. I'm very confused about how I access any of the money that is accumulated on my Apple card. Nowhere have, been able, have I been able to find out how to do it. All the ads from Apple and articles talk about how you can use your money on your Apple Cash card. So I set up an Apple Cash card and thought that the money would show up in it. Uh, all the cash card shows is 0.00. 0. Uh, also, when I purchased the new Apple Watch 7 and traded in my Apple Watch 4 to Apple, they supposedly gave me $75 in credit. Uh, where did that money go? I can't find it anywhere. As a side question, if I use my cashback money to purchase a new Apple TV, do I still get the 3% cashback from Apple on that purchase? All right, we got a few things going on here. Um, so I'm going to suggest that you get in touch with Apple Card support. Well, there's two different places you can look. So one, you can go to Apple Card support. So you click on your Apple Card, you click, click on the three dots, the dot, dot, dot. And then, let me make sure I get this right. All right, so Apple Card, dot, dot, dot. And then card details. And then what you'll see is you can message them, you can call them, or you can, I guess, do it through the website. Uh, for things that are happening on the Apple Card, I think that's what you're going to have to do. Um, the thing is, every every transaction should show up in your Apple Card, what you've charged your card as of late, and it shows the amount of uh, percentage that you get back. And I actually just recently did this, so I added to my... Uh, you know, my Apple ID, I added some money to it and I put it on my Apple card. It appeared on the Apple card transaction, said 3%. And when I went to the Apple cash card, it showed the amount that was credited to my Apple cash card. I think that's the best. You can also now, if, if you tap on the Apple cash card, um, you get a different path in that at some point it says contact Apple for support. So you could take that path as well to find out where your money went. Because, yeah, I mean, it should go if you've activated the Apple Cash card, which in actual actuality is a Visa um, debit card. How hmm. did I know this? Because when I authorized with Face with uh, Face ID on the card, uh, once it authenticated, uh, it showed a little Visa symbol in the lower right-hand corner. So I thought that was kind of neat. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm curious, his comment about is it paying down my bill automatically with it? I, I, I don't use it enough to even know if that's an option, but the that should show up on your statement. It'll show in your statement, absolutely. Right. And that's so right that, there in the wallet also. That would be the first thing I would check is like, are you seeing these, you know, sort of you know, mid statement payments just showing up. And if so, then that's exactly what's happening. And if that's not what you want to happen, well, change that. And again, I don't, I, I have an Apple card. I don't use it enough. Uh, so I don't even know if that's possible as an option, but I know with some cash back cards, you can choose to just have the cash back automatically applied to your balance, other cash back cards. So, um, and not yeah. to insult his intelligence or anyone else's, but I, I did put a link in the show notes that, uh, you know, how to set up your Apple cash. So if you haven't done that yet, Harvey, then, then I would do that. And I don't mean to insult your intelligence and, and listeners, by the way, go to macgeekgab.com and click on the episode. The show notes are right there. It is the, the setup on that is super easy. Um, you know, how, I, cause I know we've got a bunch of listeners that listen all the time, but they don't actually go to the website. So go to the website, right. for the show notes and the reference and to get this information, that's where it is. It's super easy. Um, so if you do the Apple trade-in program, the last I did it, what you get is a gift card for the amount that you negotiated with them. So maybe that's that's where the money is. Uh, check your spam. I don't know. But yeah, the last time I did a trade-in, uh, they, they gave me a gift card, which I could then apply to anything Apple. Huh. And then I, I, I got a follow-up to the follow-up, which is I had mentioned it of several shows back that I was using the Apple card and I was getting into cash and I could get a Subway or a McDonald's or, you know, wherever you can use cash, Apple cash, Apple pay. And I got a nice uh, tip from Allison over at No Silicast. She's like, 
dude, you just have to pay down your card and that way, and then use your card for that. And that way you get 3% off of everything or 2% off of everything. You're wasting, you're wasting money if you're using cash instead of your Apple card, which gives you your cash back. So it, she's right. Yeah. yeah if you is. can. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was a great thing because it was like, oh, right, of course. Yeah, don't use that 10 bucks to buy a, a, a Subway. Put that Subway on your Apple card and get 3% cash back on that and then just pay down your balance. Yeah. 